dreams are very important in voodoo. In fact, I would even say they're probably more important in voodoo than they are in the other traditions of the Afro-Atlantic. Um, there are different kinds of dreams. Of course, there are the regular old nonsensical ones that just don't mean anything. You had bad pizza that night and, you know, uh, and so you have some crazy dream. Um, but there are dreams that are prophetic in nature, uh, dreams that are clairvoyant, that uh, reveal things that are to come, things that, uh, dreams that elucidate events that are taking place in our lives that we might not even be aware of. Um, there are dreams that um, speak to uh, the nature of our innermost fears, but they are a manifestation of a form of consciousness. Um, I know that in, in IET, the, the, the nature of dreaming is so important that sometimes people will be tied up at night so that they're not able to toss and turn as one might normally in the course of sleep uh, just to encourage dreaming. And so we can say in some ways that uh, dreaming is part of, uh, of a vision quest, if you will. I know of so many people who have spirits communicating with them through dream, that the loi come to them in in a dream state and tell them what they want them to do or tell them what who they should be watching out for or to warn them of something that's going to take place or is taking place in real time but somehow we're not conscious we're not aware of what it is so uh it's it's, it's very very important um it's not everyone who knows how to um uh, interpret dreams, if you will, uh, and not even every priest knows how to interpret dreams. I am someone, for example, who many people share their dreams with and I translate or interpret their dreams, but I, I can't say that I had any formal training that the mother and father, the spiritual mother and father who initiated me um, uh, told me how to interpret dreams. and. And perhaps I didn't need to, because the way I became a priest, ultimately, I spoke about this business of remembering things, um, was because of a wide variety of dreams, intense dreams, dreams in even languages I know I don't speak in this world, um, dreams that, of, of, uh, in, in languages that exist. Um, but I'm not a font speaker. I don't speak any Bambara languages. I don't, I, I know a little bit of Yoruba, but I don't know enough Yoruba to have a conversation. To make sense of these dreams, I had to learn to decipher them. And I have volumes, literally, of journals, of dreams that I have had because they're so prolific. And I use them to try to understand, okay, what is being communicated with uh, to me? What is spirit? trying to tell me what do is it what is it I have to to learn because some of these dreams were not only um, advising me and informing me of what spirits were in my presence you know those who were working with me and through me um, and those that I, I have to uh, similarly engage um, there are lessons that I had to learn. Well, one dream told me I had to learn to speak by, uh, uh, from the heart more, more often, that I had to learn to memorize things better. Um, uh, another uh, would be something as crazy as I'm, I'm, we're sitting in a park, and I'm in the park in my dream, and yet a, a huge uh, uh, mask would appear and it may have been a mask that I saw in a museum earlier that day. But for some reason, the ashe, you know, the force, the life force of that mask spoke to me. And it became a thousand times bigger <laughs> to me in my dream. And it told me about ethics and mores, what was right and what was wrong, and how I should um, uh, connect with certain people or disconnect myself 
from certain situations. Um, if I were a Freudian, maybe, I don't know, maybe I would think uh, this is some representation of my mother or my father or something crazy like that. Uh, but it isn't. It's about my energy connecting with the energy of someone else. Because the hands of someone else, the hands of another priest, the hands of a master carver, the hands of another human being, and their life force and their energy, uh, and their, their vision, their imagination, their creativity, shaped that mask. And apparently it had a message for me. And like that mask, I was to, um, I receive it, I am the transmitter of, 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 that, the, of the, the knowledge that it contains. And it's my responsibility to, again, to put that forth in the world.